What's up guys, Black Wars here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2019 for the fourth stage of the 2019 Vuelta a España a flat stage between Cuiera and El Puig 170 kilometers today um, which awaits the riders if you haven't seen the previous episodes then please hi, uh, well I recommend you to do so uh, because there's been some crazy stuff happening in the first two stages uh, well yeah the first two road stages and the team time travel but uh, as you can see from the previous screen, Rigoberto Turan is currently leading the GC uh, and the point specification. Hugh Carthy is leading the, the best from Grada. Lawson Craddock is, wearing the mount is winning the Mountain 1. So we're currently on a good streak of all the jerseys. I don't think we're going to be able to keep them all. Um, but we're going to try our best. At least I don't think we're going to lose them today between Cuiara and El Puig. Um, but enough talks. Let's go into the stage. And the fourth stage has started between Cuiara and El Puig. Um, I'm not expecting a lot from this stage. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm going to try and win it because, I mean, if you haven't seen yesterday's stage um, and if you haven't been following me for quite a while, um, I, have, I, I, I don't know how I do it, but I win bunch sprints with my riders, uh, especially my GC leaders. For example, yesterday's sta stage, uh, last chance before you get spoiled. Um, third place was Gaviria, second was Sam Bennett, first was Rigoberto Urán. That, that's how I got the leader's jersey. So yeah, I don't know how I'm managing that, but it's it's definitely helpful. I uh, get bonus time and all that. Uh, but yeah, uh, also I checked uh, because I mentioned in stage 2 that Urán was maybe like a fan of hot weather. He isn't. Urán doesn't like hot weather, so it's kind of a shame that we're in Spain. Uh, but we're going to try our best either way with him. Also, we don't have, so if you haven't seen the previous stages, we don't have TJ Van Garderen because he withdrew from uh, the race in stage 2. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take a look at the breakaway right now. Six men in front, uh, including Domingos, I think it was Domingos, Domingos Gonçalves, Sergio Samitier, Steph Kras, uh, Hector Van Hooker, I don't know, Biko from Burgos BH, and uh, Esquera. So there is a guy with five points, uh, which I'm not very fan of. We're gonna attack with Lowe's and Craddock because I want the points for the jersey, uh, and I don't want the uh, Carroll guy to overtake me. Right. To say that nothing happened uh, would be an understatement to describe how boring this race has been right now. Uh, but we're now approaching the summit of the Puerto del Oronet. Uh, we're gonna go at the front of the breakaway. Uh, and try to like counter every move that Gonçalves would do. Um, I mean, I've got better stats than him, so I would be surprised if I wasn't like first at the end of the climb. There's his attack. Um, no, I might, I might as well just go now. I might as well just go now with Loss and Craddock. Technically speaking, I should easily beat him. Uh, the only thing he's got is acceleration over me. But I've got the better mountain stat, better hill stat, everything. And look, that's first place for Lewis and Craddock. Um, now, the breakaway is going to catch us. So, I'm going to stop my efforts with Lawson. And uh, come back nicely into the main group. Where things have accelerated a bit with uh, the impulsion of Trek Sigafredo pacing for John Degenkold. And uh, maybe Matteo Moscati. Final 10 kilometers of this stage, or approaching them at least. 11.4 uh, kilometers to go with uh, this sprint finish in El Puig where the sprinters are going to try to take uh, well, some revenge on Rigoberto Urán uh, after being exposed yesterday as complete throws uh, the likes of Gaviria, Bennett, Degen called Marc Sarro um, they're all, all them lot have been exposed yesterday and uh, they're going to try and redeem themselves and prove they're worthy but uh, yeah, our train is slightly different from yesterday's. Uh, I, I think it's not the same at least. Uh, Martinez leading the way with Sergio Guita, Hugh Carthy, Rigoberto Urán, uh, and then we've got Mitchell Docker just in case. But it's a, it's it's a good sprint train. Uh, I love being blocked. It's one of my it's one of my passions actually on PCM. Uh, okay, we're now going to increase the rhythm of Sergio Martinez, uh, approaching the time where Sergio Higuita will have to take things into uh, well. Into their into his, his hand, sorry. There goes Sergio Iguita. He's got Hugh Carthy and Rigoberto Rani in the wheel. There goes the sprint. Launched by Sergio Iguita. It's a very. Oh no, I thought it was the long straight there. There, there was a ball there, I didn't see it. 
Jukowski starts his effort. Uran is not exactly in the wheel. I'm, I'm not winning. I am not winning this. I'm not going to win this. The win today will be for Sam Bennett. Or oh, actually... Yes, Bennett ahead of Max Valscheid. Luca Mez gets Alejandro Valverde, who gets a very nice fourth position. Guviria Barros, Saro uh, Bosnagan, Degenkorb. Hugh Carthy is our first rider in 10th position. Uh, I think it's very likely that I lose the green jersey today. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to lose it to Alejandro Valverde. Uh, but yeah, 14th place. I, I just couldn't do better than that. I truly couldn't. He came second yesterday, Sam Bennett gets the win for Bora Hansgrohe, wearing the uh, national colours of, Ire of uh, Ireland, sorry. He tops the podium with Max Valscheid and Luca Mesgetsch with a very nice fourth position from Alejandro Valverde, who will most likely get the uh, green jersey. Hugh Carthy brings them 10th position, as Rigoberto Uran keeps the uh, GC, nothing happened in the top 10 of said classification, which is all good ahead of uh, yes tomorrow's mountain stage. Lawson Kardok uh, retains his best climber jersey uh, after being in the breakaway today. Sam Be oh, Sam Bennett actually takes the green jersey. Okay, forgot about him. Sam Bennett gets the green jersey ahead of uh, Valverde and Rigoberto Uran with 45 points for uh, the uh, next, um, I think, Dukanan uh, sprinter now. Or I think he's going to join them at least. Uh, it's what has been said. Best from water is still going to be Hugh Carthy that doesn't change. And the best team is still going to be EF. Max Valshed was close to overtaking Sam Bennett, but uh, in the end, it's still the Irish who gets the win today in El Puig, ahead of the German and of a very nice uh, sprint from Luca Mesgetsch to bring him third place after two wins on the Tour of Pologne. Alejandro Valverde gets fourth position, uh, just misses out on a bonus seconds. Rigoberto Ran brings him 14th with Higuita and Docker respectively in 15th and 13th position. Hugh Carthy is our highest finisher in 10th place. Um, that was just, yeah, nothing I could have done. Uh, the left corner didn't really mess me up, because I thought it was a long straight. But, uh, I, I was wrong. Uh, Hugh Carthy, though, 10th position is our best finisher. Roglic, 21st, didn't get an issue today. That's, that's worthy of congratulations. Um, but yeah, that was it for this fourth stage. Uh, we're gonna swap the GC run out. But tomorrow's stage is gonna be a very mountain stage. Uh, the very first mountain stage, sorry. On this Vuelta a España, and I hope that you will be there to watch it uh, if you want to make sure that you will then please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already and hit the notification bell right next to it to get notified of whenever I upload uh, I upload the Volta daily except on rest days where there'll be the career mode um, and yeah I'll see you tomorrow same time same channel I've been Blacko it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys and goodbye Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. All them other man need feeding. I don't wanna go bomby. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Stopping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with a duster. Put him in the drip and sip, blockbuster.